está. Vámonos. Let's get to work. start my routine with my short beds, my bath, fungo, just kind of warm up. Today we're just gonna hit outside, so it's a little bit different, a little bit easier to say it like that. Normally we do different things, but today just kind of warm up, go out there, hit BP, feel good, see the ball travel for the first time. I haven't hit on the field since like the season ended, so I'm excited to see. Hey, don't touch my lefty swing. Yeah, I pull it, I pull it right there a lot. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's hilarious. No, oh, I got one. And I was a guy. It's not bad, huh? <laughs> if he's a position player, one day maybe lefty. Yeah. If I take him deep, bro, I'm retiring that day. I've been hitting Dude, since. Guys haven't even started hitting yet. That's fine. Like I feel like everybody like have. Yeah, their own like yeah. thing that works for them but like for me i feel like this off season i wanted to hit early i started hitting like november early november when i first got here i started hitting so like the, the same amount of time i feel i've been training more than what i'm been hitting but the same amount of time that i've been here i've been hitting too yeah. and i knew i was gonna do a good recovery too so and if you know something that you want to work on it's you don't want to like i don't want to wait bro i said go. nah so, you did it? No, Jared, Nate, and Doug. All right. Like a competition. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Go get more grips. <laughs> All right. This is the closest one to mine. Yeah. I feel this one again. I don't want you to take a swing with that one. No, no. no. <laughs> I just want to know if you know what that is by looking at it. Pero espera, déjame pensar, mani. It's a microphone. Microphone. Drop the mic. I didn't know either. Drop the mic. I like that. I was, I saw the own thing, but I was like, okay. Well, that. Is it money charging? I feel. I feel. Baby, yeah, yo, vente. Ay, no, me agarró dale por goloso, papá. <laughs> Uno more. Double. You guys are not doing anything with this bass, right? These are just trophies. But trophies? I want to get this one to put it on my house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to take like this. Yeah, I'm going to probably take this one. These two are gamers. Gamers? Let me see. I can, I can wrap them both if you want to swing at you. Yeah. I like this one. You want me to wrap that one? Yeah. Wrap the mala. I probably got like a couple more rounds though. Yeah, I was trying to use this one too. We had to go with uh, the 10 and the gray handle. That's kind of my favorite bat, I would say. And they're all black with a white logo. I don't know what it is about those bats. I might sprinkle in like some red barrels soon. When I catch a little bit of fire. But yeah, that's what my, those are like my three my three favorites. My favorite thing about Vegas, definitely the bats, bro. And like how they take care of me. That they always, every time that I need something, they always there. And that's legit, you know, like, for like, sometimes you forget to order your bats, and like, once you call them and say, hey, I need some bats, they're ready. You say, perfect. Literally within a week or less. They always have everything ready, and like, they, every, every time is good, so that's what you need, especially during the season. What you got on the J-Rod Show model? The best model out. <laughs> Everybody asked for it. Yeah, nah, bro. That model is crazy, though. I just feel like it's just well balanced, having really nice barrel, 
and I feel like you can handle it well. You know, it's a little bit heavy. It could get a little bit heavy for some people, but that's why you get smaller bass, smaller weight, you know, like lighter weight. So, it's good. It's a really good model. I recommend it for everybody that's gonna hit bumps. It's gonna help you out like that. Definitely. At the end of 2019, we've been working, making it happen, man. And he definitely bet on me and believed in me, too. I feel like everything is hard, bro. We do a really good conditioning. We do a really good upper body. I feel like everything here is high quality, so everything is hard, bro. But we come out here to do it. That's the only way of doing something different, bro, if you really want to do it. Yeah. Cool, nice to meet you. Huh? You go to the band cage. You play baseball too? No, I don't play baseball. Football? For sure, let's do it. Nice to meet you, Jay. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Okay, look. <laughs> uh, should we just head right up? We can. Let's do it. You good right. with the stairs? I'll lead. I might get busy, man. So that was like part of the first video. Mm -hmm. So that we're doing like this short video of you just rolling into the restaurant, and then we're essentially like feeding you your custom bat. Mm. So you're gonna, BB is gonna be filming here. You're gonna come. Gonna offer you this. Victus wine bottle. That's the J-Rod Show Merlot. So he's just gonna come in after you sit down. He's gonna like offer to you. You just like go like that, and then you're just gonna like act like you're gonna, you know. Okay, yeah, eat this thing. That's it. Right? Let's do it. And so we'll do like one at a time, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. We're right. Perfect. Alright, one more. Now they're okay. <laughs> I like it. You got to, man. We're ready. Special. Just like a normal well, question. Well, first is uh, that bottle. I know comes baseball. From the I don't know wine. Comes from the region of Burgundy in, in France. Uh, in the, France? That region, there's only so many bottles that they can actually produce a year. Mm -hmm. So for them, calling a case, for example, is only one bottle per case. So when you buy a case, you're buying only one bottle. One bottle. So this is like basically one case, one bottle. Correct. How many? How many of these you have Bro, in the restaurant? Well. Last ones are very rare. I want to get a picture on my phone too because I'm like, it's wild. Who's the uh, wine guy on the Mariners? Who's the mm, sommelier? I, it was like Marco. He had like a whole wine thing. Yeah. I will take it out. I'm not gonna drop that. Oh yeah. <laughs> so how many bottles of this you have? You guys have here? I I believe that is the only one. The only one. Okay. Who's gonna open the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Let's crack the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, let me see you holding it. Okay. Yeah. Who's up, bro? <laughs> I need this picture that you just took. <laughs> yeah, I need that. That was a good picture. This is David Laxer, so he owns Burn. Burn was his dad. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. This is a beautiful place. Oh, thank you. It seems like it has a lot of history. It right? has a lot of history, yeah. We're yeah. going to come tonight, so I'm going to take it on. Come for dinner. Place, Laura so. got them all, all set at 7 p.m. reservations. Fantastic. Prime time. Yeah. He's super excited about <laughs> taking the tour. Definitely. Yeah. Well, good. Well, Definitely. They, I, they told me I have some good wine to run, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some decent wine. Some decent wine. So. $2 bottle to take a picture with. Oh, yeah. Everybody was like, nobody wanted to touch yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not me. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, good. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you for for coming here and you know celebrating your careers. What? How old is that one? What year? 1845. 1845? Wow. <laughs> 30 years old. Yeah. Got me by a little. It should be pretty, 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 pretty good. How much is that one? 49,000. Okay, I think we can get that, right? Yeah. It's older than you. We split it. You say if it's older than you, you can get it. <laughs> Where that name came from, Victus? Up there, bro. I wanted a V. So like the V itself on a bat, like when you watch on TV, the negative space that's created by a V makes it super visible on TV. Yeah. So we went through all these V words. I wanted something that was strong. We hired people, we paid people to like to send us just lists of V words. And then one day our investor, Greg, we're talking on the phone and I was like, Greg, like we gotta pick a name. Like you don't like Veritas, you don't like you don't like Vero, you don't like Victus, and it just popped out of nowhere, literally. You said it? Just said it. Out of nowhere. Literally just hang out in the hotel so with, with our buddies. <laughs> And it just popped out of my head and like and then from there it was like what does Victus mean? We looked up and it was like to outlast, to endure, to conquer, we're like let's roll boys, we're in. We we call our buddy and he designs the, the logo literally in twenty four hours. The very first Victus logo we ran with for our first five years. It was was designed in twenty four hours, like seventeen iterations back and forth. This should be fun. Like the marketing stuff and the social media, like if this isn't fun then we need to change and either do less or do more of this or change this and that so yeah. I feel like you were having fun today like well, I would